So in the story, Jesus says that there's a shepherd who's got 100 sheep. The whole flock is moving. But after some point, he counts the flock and he sees that there are only 99 instead of 100. He's very perturbed. He's very concerned. He goes for the sur in, in search of the one sheep which is left out. He has a fear that maybe, you know, some animal has attacked his sheep. Or maybe the sheep has fallen some, uh, you know, some gorge. So he goes out and looks for that one sheep with a lot of care and concern in his heart. And when he finds that one sheep, he really loves that sheep, brings the sheep back into the flock. I've observed this phenomena tons of time in the mountains. That when the shepherd, they're taking their sheep, their eye is very sharp. Their concern, their heartfelt concern is very sharp. They are cautious about even one sheep. I've, I've seen shepherd with 500 flock. They're concerned with each single one of them. And if there are 499, the shepherd will make sure that he lock 499 somewhere, goes out in search of that one. He will not leave the one. Yeah. I've seen that with my own eyes. What is Jesus saying here? Jesus is also a shepherd, right? The Lord is a shepherd. Existence is a shepherd. We call it God, we call it existence, we call it divine, whatever we need to call it. So existence is also a shepherd. And as shepherd, existence is also very, very concerned about each one single sheep. Existence will not allow the one sheep to be lost. Do you follow? So like in the first story, if you are that who have a lot of content, no comparison, drop the comparison, drop the ambition, drop the mad rat race, and you're content being in the last bench, do you not feel that existence will take care of you? Maybe as one lost sheep? The sheep who is not willing or who is not somehow fending for, for, for herself, so the existence is taking care of it. Do you follow? Yeah. I'm reminded when I'm sharing this parable with you, I'm reminding of a reminded of an Upanishadic story. Very significant again. This is a story I think from the life of God Vishnu, if I'm not wrong. So the story goes once a devotee of Vishnu is is walking on the street and some people start to beat him up. So he is getting beaten by some people on the street and he is chanting the name of Vishnu, which is Hari. Oh Hari, save me. Oh Hari, save me. I am being beaten by these people. They might kill me. Oh Hari, save me. This is how the story goes. Then the story shifts to Hari, to Vishnu. Vishnu is sitting in his seat and his concert says that your devotee is being beaten up on earth. And he's crying and he's calling your name. Will you not go and help him? So Hari says, yes, I'm just waiting for the right time to go and intervene and save him. So he gets up from his seat to go and save the, the devotee which is being beaten up. But then in just a minute, he comes back and sits at his own seat. The Devi, the female goddess, the consort of, of Hari is perturbed. She says, what happened? You, the man is still getting beaten up badly. You got up from your seat to save him, but now in a minute you're back on, on your own seat. Why aren't you saving him? So Hari says, I watched carefully. He was calling my name. He was longing for me to come and save him. Everybody was beating him. So I got up from my chair to go and intervene. But the moment I got up, I saw that now he's also picked up a stone to throw at them to fight his own battle. So now I've come back to my own seat. He is wanting to fight his own battle. Let him. There is no need now for me to intervene. Do you follow? Yeah? Controversial story. Huh? <laughs> but do you follow? Can you relate it with the, with the story of the sheep? 
the point the story of hari and this parable of jesus is trying to make is you're always taken care of we're all always taken care of we get what we deserve but we are in hurry we are in aggression we have our own will we have our own agenda and we don't trust we want to achieve our own agenda our way we don't trust on existence hence the suffering we want to carry all the load of our own life on our own shoulders we don't want to be uh what do you say when you carry a baby in the hand we don't want to be carried by the lord by the existence we don't want to trust do you follow each situation we convert that situation into a personal battle it's just a situation but we convert that situation into a personal battle and suffer and we don't allow existence to take care or intervene or do what is ought to be done we don't allow existence to do what is right for us think about it i i think this is this is an ultimate stage of surrender which the story of hari and the parable of jesus is talking about ultimate state of trust think about it with this trust sorry without this trust and without this surrender life is a series of personal battles life is not a dance life is not a flow life is not a celebration then it's a series of personal battles we've made this into a series of personal battles the tragedy which humanity has gone through the humanity in last 4 5 000 years has heard these stories and has become devoid of karma devoid of action but this is not what the story is saying if you really see smita and all other friends the story is saying do what is ought to be done but with deep trust in your heart if you are that sheep which is left out from the flock make your effort to find the flock make your effort to find the tribe go here go there tribe make a sound try and being heard by the shepherd because if you are heard by the shepherd his life will become easier do you follow it will be easier for the shepherd to look for you do you follow what is what is what does it mean when i'm saying be heard make noise make a sound be heard by the existence what do i mean when i make that statement ha huh? jashdeep says action without attachment to result exactly jashdeep the sheep which is left out is also or must make action she must not sit at a corner waiting for the shepherd to come and find because each one of us has a karma each one of us have some tendencies rajasik satvik or tamasik three gunas three energies based on your energy composition you you must make some move you must act but when you act when the sheep is acting the only reason sheep is acting is so that the sheep is united reunited with the shepherd there is nothing else do you follow every action that the sheep is making or every action or every word or every every sound that the sheep is making the only agenda of that action or the sound is to reunite with the shepherd do you follow so smita when do we take the action or what action should we take every action that you take must have the flavor of that longing to be ultimately reunited with the shepherd nothing else <laughs>